You might be completing lots of SBCs on your second account and actually earning quite a lot of coins if you do have that lucky pack luck. But of course, you do need to know a way of actually transferring the coins back to your main account so that you can invest into your team and trade and make coins over on your main account. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to transfer coins, the best methods, and of course, to make sure that you do not get banned. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more videos just like this one also talking to you about how to make coins and trading and investing also about the market when it's going to go up when it's going to go down when to sell and buy your team so you definitely don't miss that so going straight into the video now the first thing of course that I'm going to mention is which cards you should be buying of course for the different amounts that you do want to transfer because we might all want different amounts of coins that we do want to transfer so that's gonna hugely impact on how we're actually going to be doing it so first of all if you have under 10,000 coins I would actually do it with a gold card I do know bronze and silver cards are very popular but that might be too suspicious so the next one is going to be more than 20,000 coins I would use probably a silver inform you can also use a gold inform if you like just whichever one of course is going to be more convenient and then now for the more amount of coins I'm actually going to recommend for gold inform so this is going to be probably more than 40,000 coins something like that and also something very important that you do need to keep in mind whilst thinking of which cards to actually buy you can get more expensive in forms selling for around 20,000 coins 30,000 coins and they will have bigger price ranges and that is actually going to be a lot better so it's best to transfer with as few cards as possible so one bigger price range and the card goes for may more maybe 30,000 coins is a lot better than two 50k price ranges that of course the inform is going to cost you 10,000 coins each that is a lot better and it is going to be a lot safer you just want to transfer your coins with the least amount of cards as possible so of course that EA Sports do not notice and some other other things that you can do to actually make sure you're 100% safe so it depends how many of these you do want to do how extreme of course you are thinking about not wanting to get banned but the main aim here is actually to try and make it look like a mistake because mistakes happen every single day you're not going to get banned if you do make it like an honest mistake you can also go back to EA Sports and let them know that it was just a mistake for example you can bid on the card to and make it look like it's more of a mistake you can also make sure that you don't use the same player twice because of course you cannot claim it's going to be a mistake it's very unlikely you're going to do it with the same player twice and also what you can do to make it really safe of course when you are going to buy the card first of all you can actually kind of like play games with it and pretend that you don't like the card which is why you are selling it and list it up for the high price range of course I wouldn't go for maximum 70k price range or whether it's 50k price range I wouldn't list for exactly what how high it is I would go probably a few k lower so if it's 50,000 coins max price range I would go maybe 47,000 coins something like that and I would actually bid on it when I am going to be of course on the second account and also when you do buy it on the second account for a lot of coins like 70,000 coins 50,000 coins the gold in form you can actually play games with it and pretend that you don't like it as well and as long as you don't do anything ridiculous you definitely should be fine it is a very safe method doing this and personally I'm just going to be doing it this one time right at the start of course just to get from what I did on this SBC account to my main account and for the rest of the year I'm not going to be doing it at all so if you just do this one one time of course just at the start of the year now you'll definitely be fine especially if you use these methods as long as you don't go transfer 100,000 coins just with bronze cards or anything stupid like that then you should definitely be fine and I still know people who have done that and still got away with it so doing this method you should definitely be fine and I wouldn't really recommend doing this week in week out I would just say do tra transferring coins to be 100% safe just do it one time right at the start just like this and you should be fine let me know if you down in the comments below if you guys do have any other questions anything like that I'll definitely definitely get back to you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.